Hello, my name is Alita Fisher and I'm running for San Francisco Board of Education. I am the parent of four SFUSD students. One's actually a graduate. She graduated from Mission High School last year and is now attending Washington College. In the 13 years I've been an active parent within SFUSD, my kids have attended seven schools. I started by joining my local PTA, then joining my SSC, joining my PTA board, and working my way up through various levels of activity at seven different schools. My kids are all African American, adopted out of foster care. I'm a foster, former foster parent. Um, and my journey to be here where I am now started seven years ago when my third child, my oldest son, was identified with a learning difference and a need for a IEP, Individualized Education Plan. And I remember sitting around our first IEP meeting, which is like a special conference, and just having great ideas about what we needed to do to help support my baby. And the administrator in the room looked at me and said, I'm sorry, we just don't have the resources here to support you and do what you want us to do for your kid. And that was the moment that I made the switch from active parent to parent activist. So in my previous life, my first career, I was, um, I sold automation equipment. I'm a mechanical engineer by training um, and a Six Sigma green belt. So I understand processes and in changing institutions. Um, and I'm bringing a lot of that to my work now. So after learning about my son's diagnosis, I got involved in the Community Advisory Committee for Special Education, which I now seven years later chair. And as the chair of a district level advisory committee, um, I sit on many other advisory committees and stakeholder groups as well. I'm a member of the African American Parent Advisory Committee. I'm a member of the LCAP Task Force. That's an oversight committee that works with city and state and um, money in our budget in the district. Um, I spend a whole lot of time in my various roles within the district at board meetings, commenting at board meetings, commenting at committee meetings, sitting in the district offices, attending various meetings. And I'm ready to move from this side of the table to the other side of the table. I'm ready to, instead of commenting on policy, I'm ready to help craft policy. And my priorities for the Board of Education, my top three would be, one, making sure that each and every student in our district is a proficient and confident reader by third grade. There's nothing more important, no bigger skill set that our kids can learn to be members of our 21st century society than to learn to read. That's going to set them up for success. I want to make sure that each and every student is welcomed, included, and valued at their school. Everyone feels safe. They feel like they want to be there. And their teachers have the resources to make them feel safe and engaged and encouraged and supported. We find, uh, what I find in my experience as an advocate for children with special needs and what I find as an advisory committee chair, uh, the advisory committees, we all work together and we share our various priorities. And what we find is we all want exactly the same thing for our kids. It doesn't matter if you're an English language learner. It doesn't matter if you're foster youth. It doesn't matter if you have a disability. Every family wants their child to feel included, wants their child, wants to feel like their child is getting what they need at their school. That's my job right now, and I want to take that a step further and bring it to the Board of Education. So I'm asking for your vote on November 6th. Thank you for listening. Please vote Alita Fisher for Board of Education.